Welcome to day 20. Today we're going back in time for Christmas. I'm going to have a quick look over the decades or what Christmas might have been like when you were a kid. Going back to the 60s. In the UK it was still a bit of a frugal time. There were paper chains and honeycombed decorations. Most of the Christmas trees were real. Tinsel and glass was what you'd find on them. Yes, it was a simpler time on TV in UK. There was no health and safety. There was a program that showed the kids how to make an advent calendar with a wire coat hanger, some flammable tinsel and real candles. There's an accident waiting to happen. In the US, kids waited for the Christmas wish book to come. They would sit and circle what they wanted from Santa. At Christmas time on TV, it was the era of the Christmas special. All the big celebrities vying for your viewership. With all the celebrities they could get their hands on. The 60s were the decade of the fake tree. Most pet families tended to go out to the lots and pick one up or go into the forest and chop down their own. If you were born in North America in the 60s, you might have had a Flintstone pedal car, a Viewmaster, a Beatles board game, a Chatty Cathy doll, or a G.I. Joe. In the UK, it could have been a Ken doll, a Mousetrap, a Cindy, Lego, Mr. Potato Head, Action Man, or even Hot Wheels. The 1970s bought flared trousers, dodgy hairstyles, but when it came to Christmas, if you put your Christmas tree up before mid-December, you were an outcast. When it came to the tree, it was over the top, just like the fashions. F threw everything at it, all the colour and all the glitz you could find. The 70s saw the birth of the Christmas movie, Christmas tunes, and in the 70s, the toy companies upped their game. Stretch Armstrong, Easy Bake Ovens. The first video game was introduced, Pong. Do you remember that one? If you're in the UK, you probably had we the Weeble family. They all wobble, but they don't fall down. You probably fell off your skateboard. But in the late 70s, everything changed with Star Wars. The 1980s. Everything was bigger and bolder. Hair, fashion, colours. Mr T was visiting the White House. Everybody wanted a Rubik's Cube. Christmas Story hit the theatres. Die Hard was number one. Band-Aid ruled the airwaves with the first charity record. Cabbage Patch Kids, Care Bears, Magic 8-Ball, My Little Pony, Speak and Spell, Big Wheels, The Walkman, who remembers the Atari game system. And in the late 80s, we saw the Nintendo Game Boy and that ruled supreme. But if you remember, everyone got it recorded on their new camcorder. The 1990s. After the excess of the 80s, the 90s seemed a lot simpler. You could pick up movies from Blockbuster. Everyone needed a Tickle Me Elmo, with a million dolls being shipped to cover the Christmas demand. The Game Boy continued to dominate, Home Alone was released November 16th, 1990. The boy bands released Christmas albums in 1994. Mariah Carey was all you wanted for Christmas. And by 1995, one in three households had a home computer. It was also the decade for the birth of the Beanie Baby. The 2000s saw a new century and a new obsession with technology. The kids Christmas started to change. The hands-on toys were being replaced by handheld toys. Who remembers the Y2K bug and the damage that was supposed to do? And there were Beyblades. Let it rip was the iconic phrase for the 2000s. Robo Sapiens were all the rage. Everyone wanted a robot. Nintendo DS and iPods were just making a start on the market. Guitar Hero, Sims, they kept you busy for hours. The American Girl Dolls, they had their golden age in the 2000s. But November the 16th, 2001, the magic began with Harry Potter. 
It was a decade of innovations and the beginning of life as we know it today. The 2010s saw technology taking over Christmas. In 2010, the iPad first generation was released by Apple. In 2011, LeapPad arrived and this was the iPad for kids and learning. 2012, the Wii hit us full on with 3 million units sold the first Christmas. The, the big toys these, this decade were Big Hug Elmo, the Elsa dolls. Star Wars reintroduction was a big one. Hatchimals, Fingerlings, almost everything that was introduced was interactive. Cyber Monday, Amazon, it changed the way we did our shopping. Well, so far, the 2020s have been very unusual. Let's see what happens in this decade.